After 34 years of history, the Newcastle Knights embarked on a new chapter. The foundations were laid in the club's inaugural NRLW season. However, success was hard to come by. Work began to steer the Red and Blues' new team forward, starting with the appointment of born and bred Novocastrian Ronald Griffiths. The new head coach is further bolstered by the signings of two superstars of our game. Well, to meet you. How are you? We went out and we looked for the most skillful players we could find in the game and we looked for those women that had the character on which we could develop our club even further. The two women at the top of our pecking order and our wish list are sitting here with me today. So I present the two new knights, Tamika Upton and Millie Boyle. What Phil has done here in this excellent centre is uh, no short of amazing and uh, the fact that it's uh, on par with the men's and what they're offered as well is really special but I'm really looking forward to just getting into playing some footy with uh, a great bunch of girls that are willing to play. I was particularly impressed with uh, the video session I was able to do and Blake Green ran that video session and Adam O'Brien actually gave his time up, sat in that video session and what I learnt in that 20 minutes um, was amazing and then obviously seeing Ronnie after and talking a bit of footy, um, it was just amazing and when I sort of left this facility that day I knew that Newcastle was going to be the place where I was going to be able to play some really good footy. Um, you know, I want to take a holistic approach this year um, and develop all facets of their, their life. Um, and then on top of that, really hone their skills and, um, and have a lot of fun along the way, really enjoy the game. It's important that, um, you know, football for, for me is secondary. It's about how we carry ourselves in this town and how we represent our club. That's the most important thing, how we are as people. So we expect, um, you know, humility. Um, we're, we expect that, we respect each other, we respect the staff, we respect the community and the club, that's most important. Those young ladies that were on that, um, on that promo video, they're the future of our club, they're looking at you, okay? So whenever we carry ourselves, we make sure we respect the jumper, we, f we leave it in a better place than what we found it. Yeah, I'm very excited to be back here. Um, feels like I was just here to be honest, but very excited to be back. Looking forward to the season. Honestly, just coming together, a new group, um, new team, new competition. So keen to get out there, get it started and um, show Newcastle what we're all about. Pre-season will be about, um, you know, obviously getting fit is one of them, but also just finding um, your gel with the team, um, your, some girls are finding their position, and then just knowing um, the roles around your own role, but, you know, other people's roles um, so that you can, you know, work together as a team. If you, you know, build yourself individually and, and that'll set the standard uh, for the team itself. So, yeah, really looking forward to just getting in there and um, it's been a little while since some of us have played, so just excited to be back playing footy. We are a, a blue collar town who work hard, but we're also, um, we've got the, you know, one of the best junior nurseries going around and we've, for a long time, we've developed that with our, our young men, so it's going to be great to be able to develop that for our, for our young girls and ladies. In true Knights fashion, the new coach takes the team for an early morning hit out at a trademark Newcastle location as part of their first week. Um, yeah, so we'll kick off this morning, 7 o'clock, we'll just kick off with our Sammy over there, just six minutes of movement, then we'll split into two groups, 
half will be with Mark doing some mapping, the other half down with me. Again, it'll be just football prep, okay? Um, this morning's just about some skill. It won't be too, it won't be really high intensity. The thing that needs to be high intensity is our energy. Okay, that's the most important thing here, our communication. They're the two keys for today, energy and communication. We're gonna be done here in around 35, 40 minutes when we're finished here. We're gonna drive up the road about a kilometer and a half to Kingwood Park. We're gonna do some efforts up there to finish off the morning, okay? All good? Yep. yep. Beautiful. Right, let's enjoy today. Hey, let's enjoy today. Hey, enjoy today. It's been a while, I suppose, the process to organise everything, but finally to uh, to be able to get out in the paddock and uh, assemble the team, and importantly assemble our staff and uh, get the support of the club. It's been uh, it's been great. We're not going to be able to do too much in four weeks with rugby league, but if we can get if we can bring the the locals that are here together with the people from out of town, and you know they get a real understanding or a sense of what Newcastle Knights mean to Newcastle, um, you know we're already having success, I believe. Today's not about building your day, it's about building your mindset, making you connected, knowing that under pressure and under fatigue, you're going to keep working hard for each other. All right? I'm really proud of what you did down there, and most of that was really good, but there are snippets where, hey, you know, we need to challenge each other and go, there's no walking here. Right, uh, thanks for the effort this morning. I know it takes a lot to get out of bed and come here on a Saturday morning after such a massive week. I really do. Okay? All good? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Right, perfect. Away from training, the side take part in a cultural day aimed at bringing the team closer together. And a massive thank you to you girls for the effort that you've put in this week. I know week one, tough slog, especially Tuesday night, big night, lots going on, expectations are high. They're going to run us through a cultural workshop today around Aboriginal weaving. So come with open arms and open eyes and open mind and... Um, Thank you very much, and I'll hand over to you, Um, It's all, I think, just to kind of you know, get to know each other, like, there's a few of us from all different, you know, all over, so. Um, a few of the girls haven't played together before, and I think it's really important that, you know, they, we pay respects to the, the land that we're on and the First Nations people. Um, I think it's really good, especially at the start of a season, like I said, because everyone's from all over. Um, really getting to know each other and you know, it's more I guess that connection, if we can get it right off field then it'll pay off and come together on the field. When we spoke on the first night here, um, we had Danny Badiris address the group about, you know, what it means to be a Newcastle Knight, but we also spoke about some other things around, you know, making sure we're humble in whatever we do, uh, making sure that uh, when we, when we you know, take the park or whatever we do in our community, you know, we, we best represent the, the community as best we can. with the kids 
clubs and um, yeah, just some obviously casting drills, some fun little activities to do with the kids and um, with, with, with the five, six kids. Um, and we also just come along and just sign some hats and some um, goodies in a bag for them and stuff like that. Obviously, looking at the brighter future they have in front of them, and um, yeah, that there's a pathway for the females in rugby league, and yeah, hopefully that's what they take out of today. Back at HQ, a smiling 17-year-old, fresh off winning a Commonwealth Games gold medal, is set to be unveiled to the media. Jessie Southwell links up with sister Hannah to become the first sister pairing to play for the Knights. A pioneer of the women's game, Hannah joins from Premiership winning side the Sydney Roosters to return home to where her rugby league journey began. It's great to be home. Um, I've loved every second of being back home and uh, yeah, I can't wait to rip in. It just felt like the right time. Um, I, I love my time at the Roosters. Obviously winning a Premiership helps that. Yeah, I, as soon as I found out about um, the Knights having a women's side, I thought, oh, that, that would be something I would love to do. But I was committed to the Roosters at that point in time, so I wanted to stick that out. Uh, and then, yeah, I, I didn't really have any hesitations or questions around me coming back home. I love home and I, I just can't wait to put on the jersey. Oh, I'm so excited. Like It's something that I've wanted ever since I was a little girl and I, I can't believe I believe that this day has come, so yeah, super, super excited. Born and bred here in Newcastle, and um, it's a pretty cool town, and uh, like, it's, I've grown up here, and I can't really wrap it anymore, like, it's, it's such a cool town to grow up in. Yeah, it was, it was such a good experience, like, I, I love those girls, and what, what some of those, those older girls and, and top girls have done for sevens and for rugby and girls sport in, in general is, is actually amazing. I love playing footy and to play footy at, at this level with, um, with Han is, is such a cool experience and with these girls as well, like I, I just can't wait, like I love footy and I can't wait to play. In an historic announcement, Coach Griffiths appoints inspiring forwards Millie Boyle and Hannah Southwell as co-captains for the 2022 season. The pair travel down to Sydney for the official launch of the campaign at the new Allianz Stadium. Yeah, it's a massive honour to be named co-captain with Henna. She's such an amazing player and a Newcastle local. She brings so much to the club and um, has such an influence on, on the playing group as well. The footy, yeah, it's like the Vargo, so you a bigger version. Um, it's, it's just great to see the support there, and we are really keen to run out at McDonald Jones having all of the Newcastle fans um, and supporters there and you, Eddie. It's a huge honour. Um, I've said before that I didn't come to the Knights to be captain, that was never a goal, but to be um, to be the co-captain with Millie is a huge honour and I know we're both going to do the club proud and um, yeah, just work really well together. We're a bit like yin and yang and yeah, we'll work off each other and yeah, no, to run out with your sister, Millie, the girls you grew up playing with and like your, your best friends, it's just absolutely unreal and we can't wait. With round one inbound, the intensity is high at training. In a blockbuster opening round, the team will take on three-time Premiership winners, the Brisbane Broncos, at McDonald Jones Stadium.
hard and fast pre-season in the bank, the game has arrived. We play how we train. You know, that's been our message from day one. So, uh, you know, we've, we've trained really upbeat and um, really, really energetic, played a lot of games, worked hard for each other. Um, you know, but importantly, I think, uh, you know, what we want to see on Sunday is that, you know, players understand that whenever you turn up at Newcastle, um, you know, how you arrive, whether it's via plane and you come down through Williamtown or you turn off the M1, you go down the link road from, you know, towards Wall's End, you know, you know that you're going to be in for a tough afternoon and that's something that we've tried to, to make sure we instill in each training session. When we walk off Sunday afternoon, uh, win, lose or draw, you know, the biggest thing for us that we've spoken about is making sure the community are proud of our effort. Uh, I think that above, above all else, that's what matters. And what do you think the season's going to hold? I'm really not sure. Like, I, I hope we can go all the way, like, like any team does. But whatever happens, like, it's, it's, it'll be the Newcastle way. So, yeah, pretty excited for, for whatever's to come. Oh, it was honestly amazing to run out um, with this atmosphere and get the job done with the girls. It was a really amazing feeling. Uh, we're really going to build on that performance and definitely pick up our completion rate uh, first and foremost, and then we'll build from that. After a brilliant opening win against the Broncos, the team travels north to tackle the Titans on the Gold Coast. A day out from the game, the team enjoys their surroundings in the Sunshine State and a change of pace before their next assignment. Um, it's something that I've been working towards for a very long time, so yeah, it's really good. I'm pretty excited to play um, like with Millie and CJ because I'm going to be playing in the middle. So yeah, it'll be pretty exciting just to like play with people with so much experience. Yeah, 
Yeah, we don't need this round. We just look. It depends how many points this round's worth. We, we're on the bench. I work at Just warming up while you're coming with the gun. We put one in the one in the middle and then go across like that, so it's like sturdy. Is there going to be one in the middle? Because like you can make it. Yeah. In conclusion, mate, we've got a um, you know a fair few engineers on the team. Um, we haven't really come to a strong agreement on how we're going to start and build our foundation from the bottom. So we also have limited marshmallows. Um, I won't name names. Robbie from the blue team is known to be going around eating them a lot. Um, so look, come back and check it about, I don't know, a couple of minutes and everything and we'll see how we're going. But yeah, hopefully get back in the team next week and yeah, work harder. <laughs> but if we think that, um, that we can keep turning up and delivering that each week and we're going to win, if we're getting ourselves, we are sort of winning. Right? And exactly what you spoke about, it's a little effort areas that we weren't good enough that time. Uh, defensively, I thought we were okay, we weren't getting up high enough. Yeah. Alright, we weren't buying time for the ruck. But what I would say, when we had the ball, it looked like there was 13 individuals out there at times. Yeah. We're going to be better than that, yeah. We spent our whole five week pre season or four week pre season on playing games, supporting each other, working hard for each other, right? So that should hurt a little bit that we can go out there and do it tonight. Mm -hmm. But we need to be better moving forward, okay? Yeah. We put that in the bank, we don't walk off through one like that again after the yeah. yeah. 